In this video, we'll discuss how to debug ADS Layout AL code with Visual Studio Code using ADS 2022 Update 2 and above. First, install Visual Studio Code. And once you install, launch it. And then search for the AEL extension in the extension marketplace. Follow the steps to install the ADS AEL extension. And once you install this, now we are ready to start using the Visual Studio Code to debug ADS AEL code. In this case, we'll be debugging a layout AEL code for drawing an M curve. Next step is to launch ADS 2022 update 2 or 2023. Open the workspace that will be used for testing. Open the schematic window and place an M sub which will be used by the M curve for getting the layout substrate parameters. Next open the file which contains the code and here's the file. The main function is ADS underscore layout underscore M curve and the parameters are the M sub ID, the width, angle and radius. First we get the M substrate information and then the main code is called circuit underscore C curve 1 which is used for drawing the actual M curve. Launch the ADS command line from ADS and then load the AL file which has the M curve function. In this case is ADS underscore layout underscore M curve dot AEL. Once you loaded that, next step is to debug. Hit the debug button and this will launch the Visual Studio code and load the AEL file. Set a breakpoint right here and then attach to ADS AEL. This will create a bridge between Visual Studio Code and ADS. Bring up the ADS command line and also open the ADS layout window in which we'll be drawing the M curve. Go to the ADS command line and then execute the function with all the parameters as shown here. And click the enter button. And this will open a Visual Studio code and break at the breakpoint. On the left hand side you can see all the parameters that were passed by the function from ADS and then now you can uh, debug AL code just like any other code in Visual Studio code. Step through the functions and examine the parameters. Here we are getting the substrate information and then we are doing a check to make sure everything is good with the values that are passed. Next we get the layer that's going to be used for drawing the M curve and then step into the main function the ckt underscore c curve 1 which draws the actual M curve. At this stage you can continue debug but we'll hit the continue button to look at the M curve layout in the layout window. And that concludes how to debug AL code using Visual Studio Code.